the conversation, let us look at some of the stories that we have today. Now, the government is broke. These are the revelations from the man in charge of public funds, Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndungu. Now, according to the CS, who appeared before the Finance and National Planning Committee, in the National Assembly, the government is all stretched uh, by debt, but they have been paying salaries in arrears. Now, this comes barely a day after members of parliament vowed to disrupt the activities of government if CDF monies are not released before recess. And as Daniel Karuki reports, head teachers have also submitted a petition before parliament to pressure the government to provide capitation. The government has been on the receiving end for increasing and introducing new taxes. Yeah, thank you, uh, my CSO. It's just a rider on that. In spite of the tax hikes, the government has come out to say it is broke. The Treasury CS appearing before the Parliamentary Finance Committee claimed that the public coffers are running low on cash and that revenue collection has failed to help the government meet its financial obligations. Please share the truth before time catches up with you. Share the truth. Say, Kimeumana. The contrary is the situation. We seem not to be having any money at all, not just for CDF, but for everything. We are not getting adequate tax revenues. So you can imagine, in fact, uh, if the chairman can tell you, when you devour the development budget, it means that you remove the capacity for even future growth. So in a sense, we are struggling just to be on the same position. Ndongo says it has now become a challenge to pay salaries. By the way, I can tell you, we are even having trouble with salaries. We are clearing salaries with arrears. Okay, you know, just imagine that. The CS explained that the economic crisis has plunged the nation into further debt, which has forced the government to make drastic structural measures to shield Kenya's crumbling economy. He added that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration has faced unprecedented challenges, including the global economic dip, which has sparked inflation in the nation. No CDF, no Ndongo's statement comes hours after the MPs protested late disbursement of the NGCDF, vowing to disrupt the normal activities of the parliament. The government is always supporting their executive programs to the detriment of CDF. To show the extent of the cash crunch in government, the head of secondary schools have petitioned parliament to intervene and force the government disbursed free day secondary school capitation as they were running on empty coffers and debts. The petitioner is concerned that despite the increase in capitation palana, the government of Kenya subsidy for the free day secondary program has consistently been lower than the actual enrollment. We must either say that the government is unable to support second education by way of competition or allow the head teachers to charge extra fees. The CS says the government would ensure that the monies are availed as soon as possible. Daniel Karaoke, KTN News, Nairobi. Now the national government has announced plans to use the Kenya Navy vessels to transport fuel.